Hello there, this is Ayun Roy from GrabChat and in this video, I am going to show you how to select translucent object in Photoshop. So as you already into Photoshop, let's get started. As you can see, so you can see the background through this dress because the dress is translucent. So what is the difference between transparent and translucent? To show you that, let's take a new layer and just fill it with white. Now this is a white layer. Now I am taking two objects. Let's select black color for transparent. So TP denotes transparent. And let's take another object which is translucent. So I am denoting it by TL. So transparent and translucent. So light rays are coming from left side. And also the light is coming from the left side for the translucent object. We are supposing that there is three light rays. Transparent object will allow the three rays to come through and go to the same direction which the three rays were coming from. But translucent object will not allow the all three rays to go through that object. It will allow us only one or two, but not all the rays. I hope you got the idea what is transparent and translucent. First, select any selection tool. I am selecting quick selection tool and then simply hit on select and mask. Now you can't see anything because nothing is selected here. If you don't know the fundamental of select and mask, please check this video coming up here. To select the subject, we have to hit on select subject. See, the subject is now showing up because the subject is selected and the red area is not selected. and the opacity of view mode is 100%. That's why it's not showing anything. If we decrease the transparency, the background will become, the background will show up. And we decrease the opacity to 0%, that will the exact same image. So, for our easiness, we are going to select opacity 100%. Now our subject is selected but the dress and the background also selected. To fix that, we have to simply select refine brush tool here, make it bigger, make it softer and just paint over it. Now we can see this thing is totally rubbish. Why it's happening? It should not be, it should not be act like that because we have selected the refine mode to object aware there is another option called color aware what it does is object aware we will use object aware in those case where the object has no translucent or transparent thing around the subject or you can say the subject must be solid or you can say the subject must be solid to use object aware but in our case the subject is translucent. So there is another option called color aware. Well, these settings will allow us to select the thing which is differentiated between subject and background upon color. So you can see if I decrease the opacity, the subject color is different and the background is totally white. So our subject is well differentiated from the background. In this case, we will use color aware, increase the opacity. And now if we color this thing, now the magic which is happening here, that's done. It selects the little things and just make a perfect result. Now there is some more areas. See, these area also being selected. To remove the selection from this area, we will press and hold Alt. Press on this area which you don't want to select. There is an important settings we have to do before hitting on OK. We have to scroll down and there it is, decontaminate color. Make sure you have checked decontaminate color before hitting on OK. Now we have checked decontaminate color, hit OK. Everything is selected except the white background. Now to show it to you more properly, let's take a let's take a solid color adjustment layer. I am selecting 
50% gray. What is the hex code of 50% gray? That's 808080. Hit OK. Now take the color fill layer below the subject layer. Now see, that's an excellent selection over there. I think there is some errors. Yep. To fix that, press and hold Alt and click on this layer mask icon. This will take you to the layer mask properties. Now see, there are some areas which is also being selected. Now how we can fix that? We have to press B to select brush tool. Black as foreground color. By the way, you can toggle between foreground and background by simply pressing X. See, I'm pressing X. It is toggling. Select black as foreground color. And then we will not just paint like this way. That will affect the mask also. To prevent that situation, we have to select brush mode to overlay. What overlay does is overlay allows us to make the white area whiter and the dark area darker by the brush tool. Clear? Now black is selected as foreground color. Overlay is selected in brush mode. Brush mode selected. Just paint it. Don't get over this area. Perfect. Now to get back to the image, we have to press and hold Alt and then simply as we have entered here, just click on this layer mask icon that will get back you to the original image. Now we have done everything. You can select any color you want. Let's go to hue and select this color. You can select any color you want. I am selecting this color. Hit OK and you are done.